Hello and welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host Joe Zamora here bringing you week 7 of the PML draft and today it is do or die time. If we win, we make playoffs. If we lose, not so much. So, let's go ahead and see what we got here. I was real worried about Galvantula and Webbs, but luckily I don't see that. So, um, hopefully we don't have to deal with it. Uh, I mean, we won't have to deal with it. But uh, I do have Death here because it completely walls a few of his Pokemon uh, due to his coverage. Maybe uh, Whimsicott doesn't have anything to hit us with. And for sure Vaporeon doesn't unless he brought Shadow Ball. So we'll go ahead and see how that turns out for us. Let's win this one. We got it. Alright, so he leads Whimsicott. Which is fine with me. And now we're gonna go ahead and get Stealth Rocks up. I know he's gonna he's gonna Tailwind here. Tailwind or Sunny Day, one of those two. Oh, so he goes straight hard counter, just leaving. So Needle King comes in, obviously has a flamethrower. No reason why else he'd bring it in here. And uh, we don't want this thing to go down to a flamethrower, of course. So we're going to go ahead and go to vision here. Especially this way, he can't get his own rocks up. But even then, we, we live this flamethrower and any hit that he decides to go for next. <clears throat> And we're safe here, just go for a uh, Psychic. The only way he kills us is if he Dynamaxes, but I don't know why he would do that right now. Okay, so he hard withdraws Needle King, goes straight to... Oh, Vaporeon. Okay. Interesting sight to see. Very specially defensive. Takes that rather well. Does it have leftovers though? The real question. And it does. So I'm assuming it has nothing for Shedinja. And if he has Shadow Ball, I mean he has Shadow Ball. But I'm going to go to death here. I'm going to try to get a free switch in and go for Toxic. Alright, he gets the wish. He'll most likely protect here. So I'm gonna go for toxic. I mean we're still focus ash, so we're free to do whatever. If he switches to anything but Needle King, a toxic is good still. But I mean, if he goes T-Tar, he gets Sand off, we die at the end of the turn regardless. So I think that's what he's going to do. But that's good for us. Because now his most threatening Pokemon is on a timer. And we still got answers for Vaporeon later. I was trying to use Utility uh, Umbrella, but apparently that's only for uh, Sun and Rain, so it wasn't going to help us here. But we're going to go ahead and go to Red Vines. If he happens to have a fire move, it's we got Okaberry, so we'll live it. And Body Press should knock this thing out.
Just don't switch. Hit me with whatever you got, but don't switch. The suspense is killing me. Come on. Shit. Who do you go to? Okay, he went to Nido King. The only Pokemon I didn't want him to go to. That's fine. We get... Go ahead and go to Draco here. I don't see why not. We should outspeed if it's not scarfed. You know what? Let's just go to Vision. I don't want to tempt it. Let's see what he decides to do here. Okay, he goes Ice Beam. So good thing we didn't go <laughs> to Salamancer. All right, now we're gonna go Tauros here. Because I think an Earthquake will do a real good amount of damage. If not, knock it out. And if it's not Scarf, we should be faster. Okay, he withdraws Needle King. Let's see who he goes to. He goes to Machamp. That does a good amount of damage, but not enough to trust uh, Body Slam. <sighs> not sure what I should do here. Uh, maybe Dynamax here. Probably be the best bet. So... I don't really need Snowflake. I'm gonna go Snowflake here. Let's see what happens. Oh, we live it. We live it somehow. I'll take it. So now we can go ahead and go for the Ice Beam here. Should knock it out, unless it's uh, Assault Vest. But I don't think it is. Oh, and it is. Alright, the question is, do I knock it out with the Max Knuckle? I don't think I need to go for the Max Knuckle. I'm just going to go Max here. No Max Knuckle. We're just going to hit it. I shouldn't even waste the Dynamax here. I'm going to go... Things bulky. Oh man, I'm gonna go ahead and go for Max Quake. Let's do it. Who's our special defense? Oh, he's going straight Tyranitar here. But we're maxing, so let's see how this goes.
Of course, Stoutland can come right in and just start wrecking havoc, but we'll see. I mean, he'd have to have Ice Fang. He said he didn't prep, so I don't know if he has it. But this will be our downfall if he does. <laughs> So Matt Quake comes off. And down goes T-Tar. So major threat out of the way right off the bat. But still a few more on his team. The only Pokemon on his team I think is faster is um is Whimsicott. We're going to go ahead and go for the Max Rockfall. It's the only not resisted move we have. I wish we had a better move for Whimsicott, but we don't. But our special defense is up by one. Goes for Protect, which is one way to waste some of our turns. It'll still go through. Let's see how much damage this does. Ooh, judging from that, I don't know if it actually puts it in range or not. Oh, red card. Oh, but it's blocked. Beautiful. Luckily, that works in our favor. Now we're going to go ahead and max rock fall it again. Hopefully, it knocks it out. We'll see. Okay, so he did tremendously knock, uh, stalling out our Dynamax Pokemon, but that's fine. He's also stalling out his own sand turns. And he's wearing down his own health. So we're gonna go ahead and go for Rock Slide here. We should be able to live anything. Oh, that sucks. So Stun Pour comes off and lowers our speed, which is not good at all. Well, Whimsicott goes down. Our special defense is up by one. Hopefully we'll live any hit from uh, Nido King, highly doubt it though. He's probably Life Orb, Sheer Force. We certainly don't outspeed it now either. Okay. <sighs> you know what? I'm just gonna have to risk trying to live this hit because there's not much else I can do here. I'm just gonna go for the Outrage. Ice Beam comes off, it's four times effective, but we do have a special defense boost and it does take us out. Fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna go Red Vines here. We should be able to live any hit. We are Oka Berry. Don't nervous. <laughs> oh man. That Vaporeon, I don't think we're going to be able to knock it out. But let's go ahead and go for the Power Whip. If he goes for Ice Beam again, he's scarfed. Oh, but he's going to Dynamax, so it's not going to matter. He's going for the Max Flare. He's, he's going to win and knock us out of the playoffs. So, unluckily for us, even without prep, yeah, I guess it worked better out in Morgan's favor than overthinking the battle. He just kind of came out, played it, and played it better. So, GG Morgan. And I think that's it for our our uh, our season. I'm going to go ahead and let the battle play out, guys. And thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.
All right, guys, it seems like I don't want to get my hopes up too high, but it seems like Tauros has actually brought this battle back a little bit. Um, but Vaporeon is very defensive. And I'm just going to go for the body slam anyway. Uh, I think uh, due to our special defense drop, though, it'll take us down with any move. Let's see what happens. Can we take it out? No, we can't. And it goes for Wish. I'm assuming Wish Protect is coming. Very interesting play on that part. I thought he'd go for the he'd go for the win there. He does not have Protect, and we actually win the game. Oh shit, GG Morgan. I'm surprised, honestly. I didn't think uh, Tauros is going to be able to take out your team, but amazingly, we did it. GG Morgan. Good game. Alright guys, it looks like we will be making it to the playoffs. Uh, thank you for your support, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.